anime and manga storytellers famously obsess over the composition of their cast. Every character has to be balanced against each other just right. This character has the strongest combat skills, but the least self-confidence, while these three characters are in a carefully constructed love triangle that will never, ever end. From that perspective, Char Aznable in the original Mobile Suit Gundam doesn't fit neatly into any of the standard character roles. Now, sure, he's the hero's rival in combat, but Char's agenda and personality don't really match the archetype. The classic rival is a self-obsessed jerk, constantly looking down at the hero. And while Char is consistently frustrated that the Gundam keeps saving Amuro's rear end, Char never develops an obsession with specifically defeating Amuro, so classic to the rival. Further, Char is a charming man and a thoughtful leader greatly respected by his men. He's not even allied with the enemy in a traditional way. So why would they do that? Well, I can think of a couple of reasons. For one, a character like Char increases the complexity of the story. He is, in a real way, a third faction in the series, temporarily allied with Zeon, but very much forging his own path. This makes it a lot harder for the audience to predict what will happen when he shows up. Will he help his Zeon allies, or bring them to their doom? Secondly, Char's unstable position is a perfect metaphor for the more realistic characters in original Gundam compared to the super robot uh, villains of uh, the 70s. The antagonists aren't evil villains bent on world domination. Okay, except for Giren. They all have their own perspectives and reasons for fighting against the Earth Federation. Just so Char, he's not a villain in the classic sense. He's an antagonist. He just happens to be the protagonist's way but he is on his own path in doing so. And that's one of the things that makes Char and Original Gundam so interesting. From the first episode all the way through to the last, Char is the hero of his own story. And this is something that you see in the very early episodes when he's uh, interacting with Sela, um, all the way up to the various things he's doing with the Zabi family in the final episodes. Um, and again, this is remarkable. This is a, an anime series treating its villains as uh, real multidimensional humans and making them not villainous, just antagonistic. And I think it really helps to elevate Gundam um, out of the cheesy super robot uh, mecha of the 60s and 70s into the real robot that it helped spawn in the uh, 80s and moving forward. Char truly is an unusual character. Now, I'm not here to say that no other character in anime was ever anything like Char in the past, but he stands out as an unusual uh, personage in the uh, plot of Gundam, as well as in anime as a whole at that time. It really says a lot that the creators of Gundam created such an interesting, charismatic, lovable, iconic character as one of the antagonists of their series.